everyone. I'm going to come to you today uh, discussing my two uh, two of my handguns. One is the G2C, the Taurus G2C chambered in 9mm, and the other is uh, the G2 Millennium, also a Taurus brand, chambered in 9mm. One I use as my everyday carry weapon, the other one in my, uh, as a as my nightstand weapon in my safe box. So I'm not gonna come and talk about the specs and so forth. I just wanna come talk about the a couple of the upgrades that I've done on this weapon and my likes and dislikes because I have uh, different upgrades on both of the weapons. Uh, they're essentially come off as the same as as in both have the same front sight fiber off front fiber optic sights both have ADE uh micro red dots but they're they're, they're different but I'll, I'll get into that uh the plates are different I must say that and that's something I want to talk to you guys about right now because uh I didn't get this information when I was uh, Googling and uh, YouTubing videos and so forth, such as what you're doing right now. So I'm not a professional YouTuber, so bear with me. I don't have no fancy intro, fancy lights. I'm over here one hand in this thing with the camera. So, <laughs> But hopefully this is beneficial to uh, the Taurus family or the Taurus fans, because uh, I'm assuming you're here because you like the G2C or you're interested in getting it. So, first and foremost, every time you touch a weapon, you always have to make sure it's clear or safe. So as you can see, nothing in here. I don't usually, I usually two hand this, uh, I slide it down with my other hand, but since I'm one handing it, I have to do it like this today. Let's go ahead and pop that magazine out. Slide that forward. So, this one I use as my everyday carry weapon. Uh, got this about a month ago. Uh, the light that I have on here is the uh, Valkyrie, the PL uh, Valkyrie Mini 2 O light. As you can see right there. A PL Mini 2, or PL Mini Valkyrie 2, excuse me. I still have the original trigger. Only thing I've really done to this weapon is the light, front sight, the mounting plate, and the micro red dot. So this mounting plate, which I I favor as opposed to this one, which I'll talk to you guys about, is uh this one I got from Galloway Precision. This micro red, this micro red dot, excuse me. Uh, this is the ADE RD3 uh, 006 Bravo. I think there's a 006 Alpha, and there's also a Bravo. This is the Bravo one I got. As you can see, that's as clear as day. A lot of people are talking about how the dot is too small, blurry, and as clear as day to me. Uh, I'm liking this. I, uh, this just came in yesterday. Uh, and I put the thing on already. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm liking this. I originally got this one to put on this one, but the width, this one here is the ADERD3012. Uh, I like I like the fact that the battery cap is on the top. Uh, I, I like this red dot as well, but I just don't like the width on the weapon. This plate right here, I got this from Lake Line LLC, which I've heard all kinds of good. I haven't heard anything bad about uh, a lot of their products. I'm not bashing it, uh, Lake Line, but. These two weapons are very similar in size. And 
as you can see, that plate is a lot wider on the top, which that sight fits this plate perfectly, but I like the size of this plate. It might be thicker in height, but as far as the width, it's, it's, it's flush with the weapon. So that's my that's my like about the Galloway Precision one. But I, I, I came across a couple of videos, uh, you guys probably did as well, uh, Swig of Sauce, I believe is his name. Uh, another one, uh, I believe his name was uh, Pizza Parker. And another guy, was it Red Dot Gunner or something like that, when, when I was looking for accessories for the Taurus. Uh, and they all said that they got their plate mounting plate from Lakeline LLC. And I'm like, but all theirs look flushed. But I, I get mine, and I just got it yesterday. I put this thing on last night. And that thing is, that thing is pretty wide, yo. <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm not feeling that look. But, you know, I'm not trying to look too fancy. It's all about how it shoots, right? So, but that, as far as that red dot is concerned, that red dot is clear as day, too. And you can make this larger. This is a uh, 6 on my way. Excuse me. So let me practice that safety first, even though I know it's clear. I'm still gonna put the safety on. But this one is a uh, three MOA. Uh, like I was saying, I like I like the width of this one. This one kind of fits this plate more, which fits the gun in my opinion. And we're gonna look at this one again. Yeah, that's that's wide as heck. I had this plate, I had this plate on. I had both of these on this weapon. And I was like, nah, let me go ahead and put that on my nightstand weapon. And this is my everyday, everyday carry weapon. I, li I like how, I like that look. So, I'm a bit confused, not not bashing the lake line. But in all the other videos I saw, theirs wasn't wide like that. So if you guys can help me in the comment section. Uh, I, w I went to my receipt. Cause there's two plates that you, there's two mounting plates that you can buy from LLC, Lakeline, Lakeline LLC, excuse me, uh, for this weapon. And the one I purchased was the one for the ADE RD3 series. Uh, that mug is wide, man. <laughs> Ooh, like I said, not bashing, but uh, I, I'm going to have to follow up with lake line after that. I just got this yesterday, so I might have to follow up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling that whatsoever. Uh, maybe I got the wrong plate. I don't know. Everybody else is. I, I rewatched the videos before I decided to record this, and everybody else's was. It, 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 theirs look flush as well. Theirs look like this one. What I do like about this is the height. It's not as thick as this one. Excuse me. But that width, man, I like that in, in comparison to this one. So like I was saying, I got this, that wide one. <laughs> Uh, from Lakeline LLC, and I got the one that looks flushed from Galloway Precision. Uh, not counting them out, I'm gonna follow up with them and see what's going on and why mine's wider. Maybe I got the wrong plate, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I'm not feeling that at all. Hey, at least it, at least it met, uh, at least it goes with this, uh, 012 uh, ADE RD, RD3 012 Mark a word that site because they're both wide So that's one thing that I do like about the 006 Bravo is It's slimmer it's slimmer at the top So this it actually goes with this 
the slimmer plate as opposed to the wider look. So, you know, may, since I have this other micro red dot instead of sending it back, maybe I'll just keep it on this plate, zero it in, and keep this as my nightstand weapon since I'm not, you know, bringing that about anyway. And I'll just continue to rock with this. So the light I have on here, I believe I found this on Amazon. Uh, so I have, I've had, first of all, let me back up. I've had this, uh, this Taurus for about four years. Never had a single issue with it. A lot of people bash Taurus products. Uh, I believe I got this for like 170. This one I got, uh, hate myself for the price I paid for it. I just got this like a month ago. Now I got this for like 250, 260, if I remember correctly. Uh, and they're beating you over the head for these, uh, because I believe starting out, these things were like 170, man. And then made about $80. <laughs> I'm like, man, they, they hike the prices up on these, uh, these weapons. Uh, once all these situations, uh, started occurring uh, over the United States. So this light right here, I got off Amazon's, it's called a highlight. As you can see the model number right there. This is what I was starting off with as far as flashlights. One thing I don't like about this in comparison to the Olight, I like how the Olight is flush with the weapon and, and not sticking out like some of these other lights. Some people go for that look, some people like that look. I mean, when I first got the light, I thought this was, oh man, I like this, it's cool. But this is on here nice and snug. This thing, this is a little jerky on the on the end, which has me favoring this light with what it does, the look, and how snug it is on the weapon. This light, or lights like this, yeah, I'm not feeling the whole sticking out portion of it. I mean, as far as, uh, Oh, light is concerned, man, they're winning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another one of these to put on the, my nightstand weapon as well. Man, I, I, just, I just can't stop thinking about the width of this dang plate. <laughs> oh, that's killing me. But uh, as we continue, this, this old light also has 600 lumens, which is brighter than this one, I can't recall what lumens this one was. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But since I'm one hand in it, I'm not even, I can't even assist you guys with uh, showing you guys the difference, I apologize. But uh, the old light is uh, fairly bright, man. It, 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 it does some justice. Uh, you guys, you guys won't be disappointed with that old light. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was holsters. Uh, I went to, I guess I came across a, a site, uh, a channel, excuse me, a guy named Guts and Guns, Guns and Guts, Guts and Guns, a very informative video with his, uh, with his Taurus and his, uh, Olight. He also presented his holster that he got from a place called, like, Storm Holsters Tactical or something like that out of there in Texas. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have a website, but they do have an Instagram page where you can go and look at their holsters. And they had a, a light bearing holster uh, that fits for the Olight Valkyrie Mini and the Boulder. Uh, I, I, I like the holster, man. I, I, had, I had a difficult time trying to pull up videos for light bearing holsters for the Taurus that supported the, the old light. A lot of things were going for the Surefire and, and so forth. So I just went ahead and I found a, came across a site, Skydas, uh, S-K-Y-D-A-S, holsters. I just ordered one yesterday. Uh, reason I went with them is because, uh, you know, the, the pictures of the people that, uh, the reviewers, they, they posted their pictures and in addition to them having a light at the end, they also had 
micro red dots in their pictures and the site worked just fine and didn't have to do any modifications to the uh i said the site the holster worked just fine didn't have to do any modification to the holster and um yeah i i, I was pleased with that look so that should be arriving uh in two days uh tuesday today is a uh, saturday or sunday excuse me Today is Sunday, December 20th. See, so yeah, this should be arriving on the 22nd. So, it's funny when you uh, when you find something that you want, you go ahead and order it, and then you see you see something else. Like, God dang, why didn't I see that before I ordered the other one? Because I came across this uh, other channel. Uh, it's called Works Holsters. Uh, W-E-R-K-Z Holsters. And they also had... Uh, light bearing holsters for the uh, Taurus G2, G2C, and the G3, uh, as well as G3, G3C. And I, I, I was really feeling the looks of those holsters as well. So once again, just showing you the fiber optic front sight. The micro red dot from this ADE RD3 O12. It's a Lake Line LLC precision mounting plate. I mean, the width might not bother a lot of you guys. I mean, it 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 fits the micro red dot. I mean, it's doing its job, but. When watching the other videos, uh, it wasn't it wasn't as wide as what I'm seeing right now. Once again, PL Mini Valkyrie Two on the G Two C with the fiber optic front sight. Got the Galloway Precision. Got the Galloway Precision mounting plate, which is able to help me out with this ADE RD3006 Bravo green dot. I keep saying micro red dot, and this is a freaking green dot. I apologize for you guys. But uh, overall, I'm pleased with this. I may end up changing the trigger here shortly. And I might end up doing a couple other internal things with this weapon, but otherwise, otherwise I am pleased with with both of these weapons. I don't I don't see how anyone can bash Taurus. Maybe they had bad experiences with them. Uh, I haven't had a single bad experience with either one of these weapons. Uh, the price you can't go wrong with the price. I mean, some people are paying five hundred dollars for handguns. When you can buy two of these five hundred dollars, <laughs> I mean, I mean, can't beat that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, concerns, maybe I can help you guys uh, answer a couple things. If you came across this video, you came across it because we're looking for some accessories, probably a light micro red dot mounting plate for your Taurus, uh, as, as I was uh, when I was uh, doing, looking through some, uh, going through some videos. So I decided to make one, try to help you guys out <coughs> uh, moving forward. Cause I didn't see a lot of, uh, I kept seeing stuff pertaining to the Lake, Lake Line LLC mounting plate. I didn't see much about the Galloway Precision. And I, just based off what I have, the two platforms I have right now, I, I like Galloway Precision uh, mounting plate in the way it looks in comparison to the Lake Line LLC uh, mounting plate. But that's just me. I'm not bashing bashing them. But I like I like this look as opposed to that one. That width. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, it fits the uh, Marco Red uh, perfectly, so they go hand in hand. So once again, uh, this is Team Sanks. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Enjoy your rest of your day.